This is a short demonstration of how Tanner EDA's high performance device generator, HyperDevGen, can offer true acceleration of a full custom layout process. For this demonstration, we are using HyperDevGen integrated into version 15 of Tanner EDA's LEdit layout environment. Starting off with, we're going to show an example schematic which we're going to try and lay out using HyperDevGen. In this example, we have a pretty typical analog schematic where we have um, four PMOS devices made up of one current source load, a second current source load. We have two differential pairs, this being the first, this the second. And along the bottom, we have four NMOS devices, three of which are a current source bias, and the fourth device is a power down device. So this would be a pretty typical example of a schematic that a layout engineer would face on a day-to-day -day basis. With using Tanner EDA's um, SDL environment, schematic driven layout environment, what we do from the schematic is we can export SPICE. And in this case, we just export a straightforward SPICE netlist, which we can have a quick look at here. So it's normal CDL or it's normal SPICE with sub-circuit definition. Each of your devices have their instance name, their drain gate source and bulk, the model type, width, length, number of fingers, and so on. What this allows us to do is it allows us to understand exactly what is going on in the schematic in terms of rather than just looking at it as being spice it understands that this is a current mirror this is a differential pair this is a current mirror and so on so let's try and do it inside in LEdit the first thing we do is we bring up the SDL navigator and what we're going to do is we're going to load a netlist and the netlist, we just pointed a netlist that we've seen. And in HyperDevGen, we're just telling it that we want to recognize current mirrors and we want to recognize differential pairs. So this option and this option are both turned on. And the first thing we do is we just load in the netlist. We click OK on the device and it goes away. And what this is doing is it's analyzing the CDL or the SPICE netlist. It's calling HyperDevGen in the background. And what the layout engineer will end up with now is basically the circuit in terms of the structures laid out completely. So we have the first current source um, load, the second current source load, the differential pair, the differential pair, the current mirror at the bottom, the bias basically, and the power down device. And this still has all your connectivity. So it main, maintains connectivity completely um, in the schematic. So in terms of all the fly lines, they're all connected as you would expect. You can see your VDD connection, your connection from your source to your um, differential pair and the other connection from the source of the differential pair to the drain of the current mirror. So what you're getting now is an extremely accelerated view. Each of these structures are LVS and DRC clean by construction. They're well matched. And in terms of the tunability, the layout engineer has still complete function or complete freedom to do things like, for instance, adding dummy devices and also sharing diffusion. So they can really just tune the layout as they like it. So we're taking the we're taking a normal schematic where the designer has not done anything differently and effectively using Piper DevGen or generating each of the devices to be LVS and DRC clean and thus the only thing the layout person has to do now at this stage is complete the floor plan and the final connections.